Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Natamiya. It's so good to meet you today in this opportunity. And today I've brought a story and gonna tell you in this opportunity. And the title is Kino in Underwater Land. Where is this? Kino was very confused, waking up in a strange place that not even familiar to him. This place is foreign, a city but submerged and it's in the water. The last time he remembered, he was still playing with his friend at his house. This city is really strange. Do we really need to buy an oxygen? Kino really didn't understand. He was just circling and shopping alley, where lots of gallons of oxygen were selling. Kino was just pacing until finally someone nudged him. Kino looked at this person with a hood on her head and smirked slightly as Kino looked at her two eyes. She then turned into his pocket and handed Kino a piece of paper which had no idea what it contained. Then a little closer, she whispered, if you want to go back, pay attention and read this message carefully. Kino was confused, but still tried to read the contents of the paper. Reflect on your message and find the reader. The letter read. Kino immediately looked around to find the hooded person. Kino caught a glimpse of her pacing by immediately chased after her while he go through the crowds and many roads he tried to break through without realizing it. Kino kept chasing her until he was in a different place and a different atmosphere. When there was still land, trees, forests, and everything he had in the moment before he entered this world. But again, how did she move so quickly? Confused? This is earth if you and most of your creators take care of it. He had turned his head quickly. God is a Tamis! He showed. What wrong did he do to have to come to this dimension? Your fault? Try to remember what did you did you do to my people? Said the goddess. Can I recall his behavior in this previous day? He currently still in elementary school. In the end of his school term at this level. Kino is often warned not to damage the garden by not stepping on it, even by at least watering the plants. This time while playing with his peers, Kino wanted to pee, but was too lazy to go back to his house. As a result, he urinated in front of three, and somehow when he finished, he was pulled into this strange world. Give me back quickly, my mother and friends will look at me if I don't come back. Who will seek and want a breath like you? She replied the goddess. Kino fell on his knees, crying for forgiveness in front of the goddess of the forest and all of it. He was just a child but had to suffer like this, thought he thought. Indeed. And what if, if you are a child, you have to bear the blame? Look, if you continue destroying my trees, your city will sink in just a few years. <sighs> Look for which L. You, she will tell you what to do. Even so, Kino confused, but one of the phoenixes belongs to the goddess is assigned to help Kino. Kino walks among people with his own business. He should have been able to rest from stick with his friends this time, but had to bear the consequences because of his own action. The Phoenix bird named Della now burst on one of shop bars that read, All Magic L. 
Kino entered the shop hesitantly. The doorbell rang as he entered. The state of silence. He was confused. Only this shop was empty among other shops. Is this the only shop that doesn't sell? He thought. How dare you think my shop isn't selling? Though it suddenly come out of nowhere. To approach Kino. If it weren't for the goddess, I would have served my customer by now. But again, because of the naughty little creatures, I must convey your mission. Kino couldn't say anything and just start shakily. The L which seemed to have quite a lot of power, shaking Kino and make him disappear like an easy thing for her. Take this hat. If you go to Moss Cave, west of Goddess Dominion, and manage to grow this plant, you can return quickly. Kino tried to take the witch hat given by all witch, glance inside the hat, but no avail there was nothing inside. There's something here, Kino muttered. You find it later when you go there. Kino just nodded and laughed with Tala the Phoenix. Kino left, starting from a small forest, large forest he faced, trying to avoid wild animals for several hours. Actually, the really ferocious beasts have been saved by the goddess. She doesn't want to take any risk, and this is just to teach the little boy Kino a lesson. A few hours later, he arrived at the most cave. Tyra, Tyra had no energy. Kino only wants to return to his world. Not this underwater world, nor the world of the goddess power which is still awake in this forest. The two weren't equally good, but at least in this forest he didn't have to buy an oxygen. He just kept praying, thinking that he didn't have to buy oxygen and promising to take care of God's tree sincerely. He cried, drove it into the witch hat, and seeds appeared and drew fins rapidly in the cave. He looked confused at Della, but Della just noted. He looked down to see the water pooling and plants appeared in the river. He clenched a few times and Kino had turned to his original world. He was soaking wet but not much had changed over time. Where are you Kino? Jan showed. And they found him soaking wet. Kino just said he fell in the river and wet his clothes. Not letting anyone else know what happened, but one thing is certain, he has promised to keep the trees and plants of the goddess. Or he will come back again with a mission that is more difficult to complete than the, this current one. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all I can tell for you. Thank you for kindly give attention to the story. And may you have a great day. Goodbye.